are at the Cannes Yachting Festival. Today we're going around the Amel 60. Starting at the transom, we've got a pop down ladder over here and all the transom works on hydraulics and electrics and to make things easier getting up you've got a step that goes up onto the rear. Two large dinghy davits that work on electric, all the controls are in the cockpit. Amel's non-slip infused artificial teak deck which is absolutely brilliant usual underneath here you have a huge locker or garage i won't open up um, it is on gas struts so to make it a lot easier to lift up and down on each side you have some princess seats um, half cockpit seats whatever and everywhere you go I'll show you as we go all the way around you've got places to put security lines there is on this larger boat you have an extra locker starboard and port as usual <coughs> excuse me it's heavy night last night your main sheet traveler is aft once again is all controlled at the pilot station in the cockpit and we'll go over that the electronics in a minute as you know i'm a big fan of amel also for main sheet travelers i'm not a huge fan of german main sheets this gives you a lot more control um, over the boom gives you a lot more power and performance right i'm gonna go forward <coughs> excuse me you have your waste removal here I'm going to show you some of the hardware as we go forward. Harken self tailing uh, 50 and a Harken self tailing uh, 70, all electric, two speed, and as you'll see when we get into the cockpit, um, everything's done within there. So there is no reason really to come outside here. You have a set of clutches either side, it's mirrored on the other side. Another locker coming forward. What a fantastic boat. If I can, I'm just going to turn the around, camera around quickly to show you the height of the railing if I can. If you have a look, it's just below my hips. So you're not going over, you're not going over the side at all. Just going to flip you around one more time. You have inboard and outboard rigging, rigging to make your passage through a lot, lot quicker. Genoa tracks and self tacker for the jib. Water inlets, there are cleats everywhere. I'll show you down the other side as we go down the other side. And coming forward, once again, another waste outlet. Two forward cabin, two forward hatches. You'll see when we get inside that this owner chose to have two forward double cabins and they're really really beautiful you have your electric furler jib genoa and a i think in america you call them dolphin seats um, but there's a seat over there on the bowsprit an integral stainless steel single barrel roller you'll find that there's a, a second one spare on the front, which I think would be quite practical for a mooring ball. Two Lumar anchor winches and a huge anchor locker. 
Once again, it's an owner boat like it was last year, so I can't go fiddling around everywhere, which is a real shame. We're going to get a better view of the 50 at La Rochelle in a couple of weeks and hopefully get into all the cupboards. Right, give you a view of this beautiful boat. It's a three spreader mast in main furling sail. This particular boat is 18 meters, 59 foot, and overall length with the bowsprit is 62 feet, three inches. Total weight unloaded is 27.8 tons. You see once again, your Genoa tracks, everything goes aft, all your lines go aft, and there is nothing you'll notice. No lines on the decks, no lines down the side, nothing to trip over whatsoever it's going to be a long review this one because it's a big boat it has a 180 horsepower engine as you can see you have emergency tiller because this is such a large boat as you can see there is a rail down in the middle for security it can be removed and you can have these sections here as some beds coming into the cockpit once again i thought the 50 was big but this is absolutely immense um i think there's seating probably for at least 10 people in this cockpit our male's signature hard top for your safety and security and something which is really brilliant with this one you have a section here that slides all the way back you can see the runners there if you want to shelter and obviously either side on the hard top if you wish you can have solar panels and solar panels forward you have more self-tailing electric winches uh, for your main sheets and then over to the Amel Signature Pilot Station. electronic throttle, throttle controls, um, rear and aft um, bow thrusters here, windscreen wipers on this one, so if the weather gets a bit heavy, all your sail furling systems, in haul, out haul are all here, your hard top bits and pieces switches are here your chain counter <laughs> a huge chart plotter uh, here we go wind instruments bng repeaters is everything you need there's really i mean we say that the 50 is a, a single hander you could sell this boat single handed or ideally as a couple it's absolutely fantastic I haven't located the shore power, um, but you have a manual bilge pump there. You have your engine um, fire extinguisher in case there's a problem within the engine room, which is located underneath here. So you don't have to go outside or anywhere to get to your engine. Let's go inside, shall we? The washboards are on hydraulic rams, gas struts, so that's really nice, locks down in place, you don't have to worry about storing them anywhere, it's a self-draining cockpit which is brilliant.
easy steps down on the companionway and just on the right on the starboard here you have your AC um, control panel and the pièce de résistance over here on the port side this configuration you have your flat screen TV and your nav station once again chart plotter fusion stereo system couple of mains plugs there are USB charging plugs all over the place here VHF BNG repeater um, 24 volt system up here plenty of room just move the brochure out of the way plenty of room for paperwork and bits and pieces put that back nicely this boat's fully air conditioning fully air conditioned there is storage everywhere this is repeated there there's a lockable cupboard to get to electronic systems and underneath here and the nav chair which is i think is pretty cool have a little nut there which you can undo move the chair out of the way and get to the underfloor storage here once again there's more storage here all your tanks are central this one's fitted with a 900 litre tank for diesel and a 700 litre tank for water. Beautiful large table, as you can see with their moquette, you can have the wood anywhere you want. This folds out, obviously the other side folds out. I reckon you could get eight to ten people around this table, it's solid, it feels the wood, the timber work, carpentry, feels absolutely solid. This table will go down, um, so you can turn it into a double berth if you wish. Underneath all the chairs you have storage and there is spare freezers under a couple of them and batteries under the others, so you can get to all your system. There's a rather nice wine or booze cabinet here. Now I can tell you the air conditioning today is brilliant because it's 30 odd degrees already and it's only half past 10 in the morning. There's your air control um, controls over there and each cabin, as we go through the cabin, you'll see that they have controls. Just try and give you a nice round view of this saloon. and the galley down to this side. Okay, we'll do the cabins forward first. Coming forward, port, you have a double guest cabin with lovely windows. Each of the port light windows has a blind. There is storage, if I can get over the bed, it's huge. The camera doesn't do it justice. So you have a cabinet there. If you look, once again, you have another cupboard there, there and there. Mains plugs, USB charging, and somewhere in here, there we go, there's your heater and climate control. Hanging locker, which is very nice. There's loads of, it's an ML, there's storage everywhere. So coming in to the guest bathroom, you have an electric flush toilet. Once again, heating or air conditioning, mains plug for the chaps or plugging in your hair dryer or whatever. All draining, so it doesn't matter where the water goes, it all goes underneath and pumped into the waste or pumped out, however you've had it set up. The shower is huge, huge, pardon. Get in, give you a look-see. It's absolutely massive. I'll get told off for turning around too quickly. You have an uh, opening hatch here for ventilation. And once again, I love it. They seem to be doing this on all the boats now. Have these handy little clips for hanging things on. Nothing gets broken. Hi, everyone. You have huge amount of storage here and there. Access to you know, all your pipe work and so on for the toilet, and there is more storage down here. Come out of here. 
there is an option it's not an option in the brochure but there is an option if you want a skipper's cabin they basically change the format on how the two bathrooms are done forward because each of these cabins has their own separate bathroom it becomes a shared bathroom so in front of these and just on the side you can have a skipper's cabin with their own toilet shower and so on which is rather nice coming into the starboard guest cabin once again huge double bed very very comfortable you have the same storage up here as you do in the other room heating and air conditioning hanging locker and this is pretty much exactly the same all electric flush to give you an idea of headroom i'm five foot eight and i've got loads of space and it's the same all the way into the shower the salon's even higher so we'll go and have a look as we go through Coming through the salon, we showed you this gadget last time with the 50. So you have all your crockery storage. More underneath. And for when you're going off to sea, you take your bar out, pop it down in here and it locks all the drawers off so your crockery can't come out and smash loads and loads of worktop it's all beautifully rounded fiddles on this corian there is storage up the top here i know i'm crazy about storage i always say about in the videos of storage there is a huge top loading fridge here you have a four hob electric cooker and a massive oven which is brilliant there is storage behind and another cabinet like that along and all this except for by the oven you have yet more storage all soft closing more storage and not behind the sink um, dual stainless steel sink and you'll remember these cupboards you've got a hood uh hood in english extraction fan up here for when you're doing your cooking which is brilliant cupboards well they're really high i'm such a short ass cupboards all the way around and i'm looking to see if in this one they have the same cupboard as they do in their 50 yeah they do it's brilliant i love this for a shorty like me, sometimes it's difficult to see what's up in there. Remember how to do this. You open up the cupboard and underneath I get to see what's in there, which I think is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Be nice if more boats did that. Locked off. Closed up. There we go. The light in this boat is absolutely amazing. You have these port lights all the way around and on both sides and up on the cabin top. They all have integral blinds for your privacy. Let's come back a bit because I'm sure you'll want to see down through here. All your drawers, once again, they have these great little, this is what you're paying for, you know. You have these great little stainless steel bars on the side that lock your drawers off has a top drawer it's just brilliant and it's the joinery is just absolutely solid everywhere if you would like to know how much this boat is at standard let me know in the comments below um, and i'll pm you because we don't want to put it out all over the internet and what options you can have more storage under the sink bin that swings out okay this boat is set up with a dishwasher you have two stainless steel drawer fridges or you can make one of them uh, freezer if you want but don't forget you have freezers extra freezer space underneath the chairs and 
for those that love it on a boat, you have a huge two-in-one washer dryer. More storage. Somewhere for all your cups and glasses and things and an area for making coffee and so on. Once again, there are mains plugs everywhere, which is really, really handy. Storage up here, more vents for heating, air conditioning. These cupboards, I can only just get my arm all the way to the back. They go so far back. And then the pièce de résistance is the owner's suite. Queen size bed. It's a full walk around bed either side as you can see. There are clips for a lee cloth if needed when you're at sea which is very very handy and the owners have a lovely vanity or desk if you want to use it as that. Nice little I say little, um, there's plenty of room for one and a half. More storage here. More storage here, which is huge. Once again, more plugs and charging units. Shelving, port lights. They have these wonderful reading lights. They're all covered in stitch leather and a huge hanging locker. Look at that, which is mirrored on the other side. Absolutely fantastic. The quality of this boat and the finish of the materials is absolutely beautiful. You have storage underneath the floor, two opening hatches in this cabin and a third smaller one forward. And now we go into the owner's bathroom, which is huge. Electric flush toilet. Nice, nice worktops everywhere. Once again, you've got um, heating controls or aircon in here. There's your electric flush. Sinks, the taps are just fantastic. The finish, I can't get over the finish on this one. The 50 is beautiful, but this is something else. Storage, little bin, handy. And the owner's shower, which once again is huge. And there's a handy little shelf or seat to put things in. And up the top, squeeze out, you have an opening hatch to vent all that steam from your hot shower. Underneath the bed, they've only just made it again for the show, so I'm not gonna ruin it. As we showed you on the 50, I'll put a clip up quickly. There's a, once again, you have a, a viewing point so you can see the folding prop in case there's anything tangled on the prop, which is really handy and obviously more storage. Another hanging locker. More storage down the side. I could really, I could spend two hours going around this boat. I'd love to. The mood lighting, the LED lighting on this boat is just awesome. Absolutely awesome. Right, in the main salon, before we go, you have two opening, uh, four, sorry, opening hatches up here. You can have a mosquito blind or this full blind. It's closed at the moment because the sun's so hot, the air conditioning would be working overdrive. But you can open those hatches in different directions to let air flow in in different ways.